Hey guys, my name is Costa, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Gemini 3.0 and Framer together. So basically, we are going to use Gemini to create some WebGL or maybe 3.js effect, and then we are going to integrate that effect inside Framer. And I know you can use maybe the Framer Workshop, but let's be honest, the Framer Workshop doesn't work all the time very well. So I believe that Gemini 3.0 is more advanced and has better capability of creating advanced things. So with that being said, let's get started. I'm going to just type something very simple. I don't want to overcomplicate myself. So I'm going to say create cool WebGL effect. And then I'm going to click on this button that says build. And now we have to wait. Okay, so that is what I received from Gemini. It doesn't look like it's any effect right here. So I do have a field where I can type something and I can generate apparently. So what I'm going to do is ask Gemini to, I want actually one effect that has some control panel and not an effect generator. All right, so this is what I have now. Looks interesting. I can control everything here and I also can control the colors, but nothing changes apparently. Okay, so this looks fine to me right now. So here is what I'm gonna ask next to Gemini. Create an embed to HTML button where I can copy the HTML code and paste it inside Framer. Also make sure that the HTML code doesn't contain the control overlay. Now I'm gonna click on this icon and let's hope and pray that is gonna work. Usually it works, but there are times that it doesn't. So you have to play a bit, but once it works, uh, you will be surprised at how good it is. So let's wait now. All right, so here we have an icon where we have to click and then we can copy the HTML code. Now I'm gonna go back to Framer, then go to Insert and then look for the embed, drag it inside my hero or wherever you want. Then I'm gonna make sure that it's inside the hero and not the container and then change the position from relative to absolute and let's center it. Change the width and the height to relative and then type in 100% to make sure that we cover the entire hero. All right, so now let's scroll down and go to HTML and paste inside the HTML code that we just copied. So let's see if it works and it works guys, as you can see. Now let's change the colors of the text maybe so that we can see better. And now what else I can do actually is let's change these colors here because I don't like this blue and I also don't like these uh, colors right here, but unfortunately I can change them apparently. A darker gray and then let's see if we can do anything else. Apparently this slider right here doesn't work, but let's try to copy this code once again then go to Framer, maybe we have at least a black background. So I'm gonna select the embed code, paste it inside. Oh, so now we have the black and white uh, noise here. So unfortunately here we can't see it, but we can see it here, which is great. So yeah, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if it was useful, please give it a like and see you next time.